and welcome to Hot Money Technicals on Bloomberg Quint Live, India's first digital live streaming business news service. This is a show which gets you a complete trap of all the stocks that are buzzing in trade. I'm Darshan Mehta. Let's welcome our expert then, Raja Venkatraman of Chart Advice, uh, NS Fidai, technical analyst and mentor, and Dhyaneshwar Badwal of KIFS Securities join me on the show. Many thanks to my guests for joining me. Before we begin the show with that analyst, let's bring in Yash Upadhyay, who has a chart on future retail. Uh, good afternoon, Yash. What does the chart indicate? Well, very bullish momentum is seen in future retail. Darshan, we've seen today as well the stock is up close to around four, four and a half odd percent, uh, with volumes too being substantially higher, almost 3.1 times uh, its 30 day average. And on the weekly chart as well as the daily chart, we are seeing a very strong, uh, you know, chart structure forming. So I'll start first with the daily, uh, uh, daily time frame. And we've seen that the stock has managed to break out from this range, uh, which I've highlighted with the help of the screen rectangle. As you can see, it has managed to breach that mark. And uh, for almost the entirety of the last three months, uh, it has been in this range and now it has finally managed to move higher. We've seen that the last few trading sessions have been extremely positive uh, and in fact the stock has been gaining uh, for the last five to six trading sessions consecutively. Additionally, on the weekly time frame, uh, we are seeing a positive divergence on the RSI as well. So while the price hasn't quite moved and has been relatively stable uh, in, in this range, uh, the RSI has been st steady moving higher so take a look at the RSI uh, on the on the on the weekly chart and we are seeing that while the price has been largely stable around the mark uh, of closer to around 320 uh, and 340 on the upside the RSI has steadily moved up so RSI too is giving a positive divergence which is indicating that the momentum is slowly and steadily building up and it's crossed uh, above or, or is closer to around the mark of 50 uh, the price action is very supportive like I mentioned earlier the volumes are uh, quite healthy as well so like the strength like the trend that we are seeing across most of these retail Retail names, be it Dima, Trent as well. Uh, future retail also is, uh, is uh, you know, catching up, and we are seeing a good uh, momentum in the counter. Okay, thanks so much for that, Yash Raja. The future retail. What's your uh, analysis? Yeah, uh, like Yash rightly pointed out, the dips uh, which we have been seeing over the last six months began to consolidate uh, since uh, November, and the consolidation breakout which we have seen above 350 levels does augur well for the prices. And uh, if you look at, take a look at the momentum indicator, it's giving a fresh up thrust. So overall prospects suggest that it could move towards the 420 region. On crude basis, stop loss below the breakout zone around 345 and uh, trade it for a nice uh, potential uh, up move. Okay, uh, Fidai, what's your sense on future retail? Yeah, I agree with Yash and uh, Raja also. Uh, one can buy this on dips up to 355, 357 and keep a tight stop loss below 350 on extreme short term. And um, like, you know, uh, if somebody is holding this, then they should hold and people who would like to add should add around 350. Uh, 355, 357 and on the upside we see something like 390, 410 kind of uh, in extreme short term. Okay, that's the view that's coming in. Dhanishwar, what's your sense? Uh, well, Darshan, if you look at the uh, daily time frame chart, so uh, we clearly observe that the stock is taking uh, support of 324 from last three months and it, it was uh, trading in a consolidation zone between 324 to 355 range and uh, in today's trading session it has given a very good breakout. So. Uh, any dips comes towards the 350, 355, so that could be a great buying opportunity. Keep a stop loss of 340 on a closing basis for an initial leg of up move towards the 400. Okay, that's the view that's coming in on the counter. Let's start with uh, the first stock and that is something that Raja has. He has a chart on Sun TV. Sun TV, no doubt, has been doing exceptionally well for the past few days. It's almost uh, 7 to 10% in the past few days. Uh, that's the move that's come out. But uh, uh, what's your view? Why should one buy this stock? After the decline, if you see over the last uh, six months to the end of uh, 2019, the stock began well uh, in 2020 and that was uh, a very good sign. If you can see here, it began with a nice hammer formation and steadily it has uh, moved up and on every pullback it has witnessed a nice uh, buying opportunity here. You can see here that uh, the breakout seen yesterday moved above this uh, trend line resistance and also above the uh, pitchfork area. Now we are witnessing some profit booking and uh, the prices are dipping down into the dip levels which uh, I, I would advocate to buy here. So it's a good buy at current levels. You can place a stop loss, a very tight stop loss at 485 for an upside towards uh, 555. Okay, for, so what's the ideal strategy? Buy now, buy at uh, till what level yeah, would you buy? The, the dip levels have actually come. If you can see here, this is the uh, candle which was formed yesterday. So the mid of this candle also acts as, acts as a nice support. So you can take this as a buy opportunity here. If you take a look at the momentum, the momentum is also building up to the upside. 
So overall, the price action as well as the momentum suggests that we could expect some upside in the coming days. Okay, so it, it's a quick trade according to you? Yeah, it's a 10 to 15 session trading. Okay, thanks so much for that. Uh, Raja, NS, what's your sense on Sun TV? Yeah, one may buy the stock and keep on adding on dips also. Uh, the stock is in good zone, like right now it is uh, showing like, you know, uh, you can say inverted head and shoulder kind of breakout, but uh, needs to cross 515 uh, if it wants to uh, see some momentum. Moment you see a crossover beyond 515, 518, then you can expect the stock to go at least 20% uh, on the upside minimum. Okay, that's the view that's coming in. Dhaneshwar, what's your sense? Uh, I agree with NS. Uh, recently, if you look at the overall chart structure, so recent uh, previous swing high was placed near 510, 511. And yesterday's trading session, it has made a high of 513. And also, you can observe the today's trading session, it is also made a high of 514 uh, near about. So, 513, 540 would be a very crucial level. Uh, if stocks will correct to 480, so that would be a great buying opportunity. Or if anyone wants to take an aggressive entry, so uh, bulls need to take out the 540 level. Okay, that's the view that's coming in on Sun TV. Uh, NS Vidai has a chart on Tata Chemicals, uh, uh, one of the outperformers of the recent time, both Tata Chemicals and Tata Global, both of them have done well, has rallied all the way from 550 all the way now up to almost 760. But uh, what's your sense, what should one do now? Well, if you look at this yellow line, uh, it's like multiple tops on this line, exactly around 790, 780 area. So that's the area where the stock is facing lots of resistance. If you look at this pink line also, which is acting as a resistance right now. So one can go short um, on the rise if you can, up to 790, 795, and keep a tight stop loss above 805. Okay. Okay, or on dips below 745, one can go short for a target of almost 690. So, you, so you, you won't uh, short anything at this level, it's uh, 760 right yeah, now? Yeah, right now you don't do anything. You wait for the stock to either break down or it goes up to the resistance zone in this area. Hmm. So if it comes within this you know, triangle area. 790. Yeah, uh, between 790 and 800 hmm. area, right? So hmm. that's where you go short. Keep a 1% stop loss of maybe 805 should be good enough. And um, if it breaks 745, hmm. then uh, this is what opens up for us. Okay, so, so but overall the, the trend seems to be on the negative yeah, overall side. Overall the trend is uh, positive, one should buy on dips rather. Hmm. But uh, right now what we see is a trade. Okay, it's a short term trade that you're and looking at. if you look at RSI also, RSI is highly, uh, you know, showing negative divergence. While stock has made a higher high, hmm. look at this RSI, where it is. It is like, you know, it is making a lower uh, Low. high. So that Low is high. what... Uh, like, you know, it's giving me confidence that uh, the stock may give a little bit of dip. Okay, thanks so much for that, NS. Dhaneshwar, uh, what's your sense on Tata Chemicals? Would you be buyer or would you short? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm having a contradictory view because uh, trend is quite strong if you look at the daily chart, uh, time frame chart. And yes, no doubt, uh, stock is taking a, uh, uh, many times resistance over the 780, 85 range. So this is a pause for the uh, pause for the stocks. If stocks may correct towards the uh, 740, 730, so that would be a great buying opportunity. Uh, in recent terms, uh, that there might be a possibility stock may head it towards the uh, uncharted territory. Okay, what's your sense, Raja, on Tata Chemicals? Yeah, if you see over the last two weeks, the stock has been clearly indicating some hesitation to move higher and uh, formation of negative candlestick patterns at uh, higher levels around the 760 to 770 zone clearly indicates that uh, there is some suffocation and lack of bullish participation so any move below the uh, 750 zone could be a good selling opportunity so it would definitely be on my selling list and uh, it's a good uh, call on the short side okay that's the view that's coming in uh, from raja on uh, tata chemicals let's across go across to dhaneshwar for a chart on mstc let's pull up the counter i don't think we've discussed this stock uh, earlier on this thing but uh, nevertheless uh, uh, what is your recommendation on the counter yeah, listen, well if you look at the overall chart structure so it is moving in a clear uptrend and after the impulsive momentum stock was unfolded into the correct pattern for a very long time and after uh, after this uh, corrective moves the recently we have seen that the uh, stock is managed to give the breakout of uh, uh, falling wage channel so uh, a stock was unfolded into the falling wage channel and it has given a breakout with the good volume so you hmm. can o see over here and if you look at the delivery percentage uh, delivery is also quite good in this case so uh, there might be a possibility uh, after giving the breakout stock may consolidate in this zone so if the stocks comes towards the uh, current market price as well as 140 135 would be a great buying opportunity. Keep a 
first stop loss of previous swing low that is placed near 120. Okay. It is on closing basis. Uh, you might be see a stock may headed towards the 185. That is a new high. Okay. And will this be a swift move? You've seen that it's moved swiftly from 120 to 140. Uh, will the move? If you if you if you look at the waves nature, so here we have seen that the very harsh reaction into the chart. So uh, uh, waves cannot replace the uh, replicate the uh, another wave. So here you will see the very slow and uh, steady momentum. Okay. Thanks so much for that, uh, Dhaneshwar. Or uh, Fidai, what's your sense on MSTC? Absolutely agree. Uh, like one would see momentum if stock crosses beyond 158, 160, and uh, the stock can get go to 190 or even uh, beyond 200. On the dips, so one should buy up to 140, uh, 130, 1, between 130 and 135, and uh, like you know, keep a tight stop loss below maybe 127. And um, one can see a good momentum here. The stock has very good, uh, you know, developed good kind of volumes and moves with very strong momentum. Overall, it's like a flat pattern, so should be bought. Okay, that's the view that's coming in. What's your sense, Raja? Yeah, if you take a look at the daily charts, around 150 zone, the stock is facing continuous uh, resistance, and there are been uh, some. Though volumes are emerging, momentum is in play. There are shadows emerging at those levels. So unless I get a closing above 150, I would not be a buyer in MSTC. Okay, not a buyer above, uh, only a buyer above 150. Uh, now let's uh, move across uh, to the second uh, ch- second row. Uh, we have a chart by Raja. He has a chart on Metropolis Healthcare. Came out with very strong set of numbers, uh, probably near uh, all-time highs. But uh, what's your sense? Why should one buy this counter? Yeah. So, if you take a look at the uh, daily charts, you will see that uh, the stock has been given a good uh, pullback, and I've used the uh, Ichimoku setup here, which is showing that a pullback into the Ichimoku cloud always gives a nice up move. So you can see here there was a nice ma- up move uh, in early, towards the late uh, 2019. Then there was a dip again, and then once again there has been a good uh, move here. So what has happened is after this move ahead of the results, the prices began to consolidate here, and then on the result day you saw a nice dip. So the dip into the uh, long-term moving average also witnessed a nice uh, buying interest here, and the stock has given a nice rise yesterday. So overall setup indicates that uh, it could be a good buy possibility. And if you take a look at the current uh, move which is happening, it is also giving a good dip. Into the uh, buying zone around 1650 to 1660. That's also a good opportunity to initiate a long. Okay, that's the view. That's coming. There's also a weekly chart. Okay. Oh, do we have the weekly chart? Uh, yes. Yeah. So if you take a look at the weekly chart uh, after the uh, breakout which emerged in Jan, the prices are consolidating and they are taking support at the median line. I've used this pitchfork tool. You can see here the support is taken at the median line because of continuous buying at the median line. There is a strong possibility that the stock could go up. Okay, so it's at 1660 right now. Yes. Uh, it's already rallied so much. Uh, what's the ideal st- uh, trade that you would recommend? Yeah, the the dip is perfect. You could buy now. Place a stop loss at 1605 for an upside towards 1815. 1815, and and how soon can that come in? Now within the next 20 to 25 trading sessions. Okay, so a month trade uh, in which 1800 probably can come in yes. on the counter. Thanks so much for that, Raja. Fidai, what's your sense on Metropolis? Well, overall the stock is very bullish. Uh, has uh, shown very good momentum right now. It is making a flat pattern. So uh, one may buy this stock on dips up to 1580 and 1540 if it comes in that zone and keep a tight stop loss below 1520ish. And on the upside, if it crosses 1750 uh, uh, rather, then you can see the stock can do even uh, like you know if you look at the pole size, then we may see almost like a 400 point kind of run up. And that could give you almost like a target of 2100 on the upside. Okay, 2100. So that's a yeah. long-term positional call that's coming in. Uh, Dhaneshwar, would you also be a uh, buyer on this counter? Uh, yes, of course, Darshan. Uh, because uh, recently we have seen that the stock is moving in a clear uptrend, and uh, recently, if you look at the overall chart structure, so it is uh, moving in a very tight range of uh, 1730 on a higher side and uh, 1580, 1600 on a lower side. And uh, probably we have seen that the uh, consolidation zone or correction is uh, getting matured. So. Uh, Traders need to uh, apply the mean reversal strategy over over here because uh, stock is he- uh, heading towards the 1600. So any dips comes towards the 1600, 1580. So that could be a great buying opportunity. Okay, that's the view that's coming in. Let's take a look at the chart of uh, 
uh, Nippon India Asset Management. Remember, it was the Ar earlier Arnam or Reliance Nippon uh, AMC, and uh, it, it's done extremely well. You know, from levels of uh, you know sub uh, uh, 150 when it was with Reliance, and now it's changed promoters. It's up 400, but still, uh, you think it, it it should be bought? Yeah, actually, it has given a uh, breakout. Uh, if you look at the whole setup. It's a sort of like cup and handle. Like if you look at this whole thing, it looks like you know the cup yeah. has been formed, and then there was consolidation in this zone, and the handle has been formed. And um, if you look at this whole one, uh, you know, I usually call this as I would like to call it as a fractal. Like if you look at this, there was a breakdown from the pattern. Same thing happened here, hmm. and then the stock moved up very sharply. And something very similar fractal is happening here. And if you look at the volumes, so if you can have volumes on this chart, no, I don't think. Um, can. Yeah, so the volumes are also persistently very high, hmm. and uh, the stock is somehow taking very good support on 50 demo, hmm. not exactly on 50, but near abouts. Hmm. So this is where, like you know, if you look at this uh, breakdown at below 50 demo and then crossover, same way it has actually done very similar kind of move. And I expect the price to go almost up to 500, 515. Okay. In extreme short term, maybe one to three months kind of thing. Um, uh, every dip should be bought. You can buy at this level also, and you can add up to 375. Okay. And uh, you can see a good momentum till it holds above maybe 390. Uh, you will see the momentum continuing in the stock. Okay. And you see a fast movement that coming. Yeah, so, so 500 movement. is your first target. Do you see 500, 515 is my first target. Uh, what's your second target? How how high can this counter? Go? Because uh, there seems to be a lot of interest in this counter. Yeah. Actually, uh, like you know, if you uh, then if you look at this whole structure, the cup cup structure, hmm. if you calculate that, then uh, it can go up to 700 plus also. Okay, thanks so much for that. Uh, Raja, would you be a buyer in Nippon Asset Management? Yeah, definitely. The nice rounding pattern breakout on the daily chart suggests that uh, it could head towards the first target, which uh, NSS suggested towards 500. And the way the momentum and uh, the new play which is emerging in this counter, one should definitely consider it as a buying possibility. Okay, that's it. And Janeshwar, would you be a buyer? Uh, yes, of course, Darshan, uh, because uh, stock is moving in an uptrend and you know the uh, every time the stock is made in, uh, making a new high, uh, if you look at the volume chart, so volume is also increasing. So it is confirming, uh, volume is uh, giving the confirmation that trend is very strong. And recently we have seen that the horizontal consoli consolidation pattern has been break, uh, broken out above the uh, 400 marks and it is sustaining above that. So it would be a great buying opportunity. Keep a stop loss of 380 on closing basis for an initial leg of up move towards the 450, 460. Okay, so consensus bullish call that's coming in and uh, the last chart at least from my guest before Yash comes in again is uh, the Anishwar's chart on uh, JSW Steel. A uh, uh, couple of metal stocks have done extremely well given the fact that uh, prices have moved up. Uh, JSW Steel also has managed to move up uh, on that front uh, even though the numbers were disappointing but yes, uh, uh, what's your logic? Question, if you look at the overall chart success, so uh, if uh, JSW Steel is almost uh, from the one, one and a half years, uh, it is moving into the consolidation zone and after the consolidation we have uh, keenly observe on the daily chart the head and shoulder pattern is uh, uh, given a breakout as well as you if you uh, if you draw the horizontal trend line so you if you you will also get a cup and handle pattern mm. as as well so uh, both the pattern has giving a good breakout and on yesterday's trading session we have seen that the good volume uh, with the good volume stock has given a breakout and it is sustaining above the uh, 285 mark so current market price as well as dips towards the 280 could be and find as a buying opportunity uh, where the uh, where the neckline is uh, has mm. been placed. So 280 would be a great buying opportunity. Keep a stop loss of 260 on a closing basis for an initial leg of up move towards the 350. That would be a 61.8 percent retracement of the previous fall. So when should one buy, buy at this level? Uh, uh, one should adopt the strategy of accumulation because uh, stock has already given a uh, too mm. much of rally near about uh, four four and a half percent. So any uh, dips comes towards uh, 280. Uh, 285, so that could be a great buying opportunity. Okay, thanks so much for that, Janeshwar. Uh, Raja, what's your sense on JSW Steel? Yes, the stock has given a very nice breakout above the 280 zone, and from there on, the stock has moved quite steadily higher. So, yes, uh, considering the way it has rallied strongly, one could use a pullback towards these zones, the breakout zone, as a buying opportunity, place a stop loss at 270 because the upside is seen clearly towards 325. Okay, that's the view that's coming in, and uh, what's your sense on this today? Well, I agree with both of my friends here. And uh, you know, one should buy this stock on dips up to 285 and between 285 to 275. Keep a tight stop loss below 270. On the upside, uh, minimum target could be 314, 315. And uh, needs to cross that uh, because that is a very strong mean reversion area, very strong resistance zone in that area. So one can uh, look out for the stock crossing beyond that. If it does that, then you can see much higher levels also. Okay.
That's the view that's coming in on the counter. And Yash is back uh, with his second chart, and this time it's on Quest Corp. Uh, what's your sense on, on the counter, uh, Yash? What is it indicating? Good afternoon, Darshan. So there is continued weakness in Quest Corp. And for a fourth consecutive trading session, we've seen that the stock is uh, coming off. And uh, this is, again, on the back of the trender indicator. We did touch base on Quest Corp in the morning show as well. And we showed how the directional movement of uh, the stock is on the downward with the underlying strength also being very strong. Uh, and the trender indicator, too, is suggesting that should it manage to close below these crucial levels, uh, we could see a fresh move uh, on the downside. So take a look at how the trender indicator is and uh, this is on the daily time frame where we're seeing that the stock is currently at about 473 uh, the trender line is well fairly above that mark it's at 477 so shouldn't manage to close even at current levels or below the mark of 477 uh, we would see uh, that the trender would change its color from green to red now historically last two times this has failed uh, to you know uh, materialize and if, and when these two times the trender flipped to red uh, we eventually saw the stock move up but look at the one year time frame and the other two times when the trender gave a negative crossover the stock gave a significant rally uh, on the downside so clearly there is pressure at the higher levels for four consecutive sessions we are seeing weakness come in uh, both the trender as well as the adx indicator are suggesting that there is weakness so uh, the momentum is on the downside uh, and the trender suggests that we could see uh, far lower levels in the counter from here on Okay, that's the view that's coming in on Quest Corp. Uh, Dhaneshwar, what, what, what do you make of the chart? Uh, yes, well, listen, uh, uh, if you look at the overall chart structure, so stock is moving in a lower top, lower bottom formation, and recently we have seen that the intermediate trend line has been broken down. Uh, so uh, one can go short by keeping a stop loss of 620 because that is a zone. If bulls manage to take out that level, so we probably may see the upward rally. So keep that uh, tight stop loss. Okay, what's your sense, uh, Pidai? Well, I would only look at going short in this counter if it breaks below 560. If it doesn't, then uh, one can hold this stock and uh, maybe you can see a bounce up to maybe 600, 615 kind of, you know, means a zone. And that's where if you would like to go short, that would be a low risk zone to go short by keeping a stop loss above 625. On the downside, if it breaks 560, then you can expect it to go all the way up to uh, 525. Okay, and what's your sense, Roger? The uh, stock has an important threshold level around 620. And uh, on higher time frame charts, uh, we have seen uh, formation of uncertainty at those zones. So, holders of the stock should actually exit because the stock is indicating potential downside. Okay, that's the view that's coming in. We still have time. We'll just take uh, the view of uh, the indis indices with our guest. Uh, Dhaneshwar, what have you told your clients to do on the Nifty or the Bank Nifty? Do you have a strategy there? Uh, see, if, well, listen, if you look at the uh, lower time frame as well as the higher time frame chart so we are probably seeing the very strong resistance place near about uh, uh, 12,400 12,500 mark and if you look at the higher time frame mainly on monthly so nifty is escalating in a uh, moving in an escalating channel where the overhead resistance is also uh, facing at uh, 12,400 uh, till the uh, till till the bulls is not may, uh, crossing the 12,400 and close above the uh, 12,400 on weekly basis. So we'll see the sideways momentum uh, on the Dow side. 11,800 would be an go a great support. Okay, what's your sense with I on the index in the season? Well, I would uh, say like till it holds about 12,080 on cash, one can stay long and uh, don't do anything much just trail your profits and on the upside uh, you can see it go all the way up to 12400 12600 also so uh, wait for the stock to uh, like nifty to give a breakdown uh, but if it doesn't then just uh, you know run with your profits okay and raja what's your sense yeah compared to nifty and bank nifty uh, bank nifty witnessed a sharp sell off and uh, the rise which you have seen last week clearly indicates that there is a new change in the trend emerging in bank nifty so what I uh, believe that Bank Nifty could take the lead now and Bank Nifty has got potential to move all the way till 33,000. So that could be a good bet to watch out for compared to Nifty. Okay, that's the view that's coming in. But with that, it's a wrap on today's edition of Hot Money. Let me thank my guests, uh, Dhanesh Farfida and Raja. Thank you so much for coming in today. Ask BQ comes up next. Stay tuned to Bloomberg Night.